I think it's very much like most women who, you know, it's kind of not enough that their husbands go out and earn a living. They also have to be sensitive and help with the kids and change diapers and do grocery shopping and remember your anniversary and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I, I, guess, I guess it's too much to ask. Um, and that causes a lot of conflict. And I, I think the thing that's, that saved Deborah's and Ray's marriage, and I think it's in any marriage, is you know that your spouse is well-meaning, ultimately, um, and it's one thing if they're doing things deliberately, but if they're just an idiot, which I often called Ray in the show, then they kind of can't help it, so you have a little pity on them. So um, that's really, they were, they were kind of Lucy and Ricky, I think. Uh, it's kind of a modern day Lucy and Ricky, and, and maybe just, but it was just flipped. You know, Ray was the new Lucy. Oh, we tried not to have the kids on the show very much. There was no relationship, really. Um, you know, the Sweeten kids were really uh, terrific kids, but um, we tried to have them on as little as possible because it really wasn't about the kids. And I think we actually had a couple of beautiful episodes that featured them. But for the most part, I think it can be very difficult to, to, to do a show that feels really natural when you have young children in it. Well, that was just a classic battle of the wills between Deborah and Marie. And Doris and I always loved our scenes together. And there was a few episodes that pitted us against each other, which were just terrific. Um, you know, I think Doris was such a veteran of the theater. And she really, you know, is a wonderful, wonderful actress. And they, there was so much baggage between the two characters that it was always fraught with all kinds of um, minefields. So it was really a joy to do those scenes together because they were always very emotional and very funny. It was very sweet. I think with Frank and with uh, Robert, uh, I liked both of those relationships because um, although I fought with Frank, I, I think we felt on the same side a lot because Frank had a lot of problems with Marie also. So we worked together. And I've always felt that Robert was my favorite character because he was such a sad sack, and I felt so sorry for him. And he was so big and so sweet. It was such a funny combination because when they were originally casting this, they thought of a, of a very tiny, wiry, angry guy. And they ended up with a very tall, big, soft, sweet guy. And now you can't picture it any other way. Oh, well, you know, I was nervous about who they were going to cast as Robert's girlfriend. And when I found out it was going to be Monica Rosenthal, who I'd gotten to know because of Phil, I was so excited. And we had such a good time together. It was so nice for, um, Deborah to have this girlfriend that wasn't a part of the family that she could have fun with and she could talk to.